stay warm, Firas Idris is burning plastic. This is his sixth winter living in this refugee camp in Akar, Lebanon. He sells fava beans from a push cart to survive. The owner of the land wants rent. We have to pay for electricity and we have to pay to a community fund to stay in the camp. And the aid organizations are not coming around anymore. We might receive a box of goods every four or five months. Five years ago, Suad left her home in Homs and came to this camp. She's 60 years old now and lives in this tent with her husband and disabled child. She says even if they wanted, they can't go home. How am I supposed to go home? In rural homes, everyone's homes are destroyed. Anyone would say yes if you ask them if they want to go home, but my home is destroyed. We left because they were destroyed. For now, we'd rather stay here. At least this tent is giving us some warmth. Samah, who also fled Homs, lives in this tent with her family. Her daughter suffers from a genetic disorder called thalassemia, which requires expensive treatment. But Samah says living at home in Syria is impossible. The village we lived in doesn't have working electricity or running water. All the homes are destroyed. There aren't any of the most basic life necessities. It's impossible for us to return. It would be impossible to live there. Since life in the camp is better than going home, these Syrian refugees say they'll continue adapting the best they can with nowhere else to go. Obaidahito, TRT World.